has the missing link finally and really been found? Before we definitively answer this question, and we will, let me familiarize you with a book entitled Voodoo Science, The Road from Foolishness to Fraud, written by Dr. Robert L. Park, professor of physics at the University of Maryland. It was written to assist federal judges, Park says, in detecting scientific nonsense. Of the seven indicators of bad science in the book, please remember the following two before we proceed with evolution's latest greatest discovery. Two indicators of bad science, Park says, is number one, the discoverer pitches the claim directly to the media, thus bypassing meticulous peer review before a claim is made, and also hinting that a primary desire for the discovery is to be a money-making venture rather than a true addition to the body of scientific knowledge. Secondly, Park says, another indicator of bad science is that the discoverer has worked on his find in secret for a long period of time. Remember these two indicators of bad science according to a scientist. Now let's turn to the discovery at hand. The newly discovered fossil is known as Ida, claimed by its discoverers to be 47 million years old. A book, a movie, a press release, news reports, television specials, and an interactive website have all recently been launched, converging in a multimedia exclamation shouting to the world that the missing link in man's evolution has supposedly and finally been found. Britain's nature television star, Sir David Attenborough, who for 50 years has been the face and voice of the BBC's natural history program, popular in both the U.S. and the U.K., has been a staunch advocate of evolutionary theory, calling it a historical fact. Attenborough said, This little creature is going to show us our connection with the rest of the mammals. This is the one that connects us directly with them. Ida, a lemur-like fossil that has been studied in secret for years, is just now being unveiled to the world by a media blitz. Attenborough continued, now people can say, okay, we are primates, show us the link. The link they would have said up to now is missing, well, it's no longer missing. Attenborough and a handful of scientists behind the announcement are proclaiming the find as the final vindication of Darwin's evolution theory. Professor John Hurum of Norway's National History Museum, who is leading the team of fossil experts, explains on the website, which is announcing Ida's discovery, the following. Darwin said a lot about transitional species and how they were missing from the geological record. And he said that if a transitional species is never found, his whole theory will be wrong. Hurum states, it's a really important specimen that will become an icon of evolution. He also adds, this fossil will probably be pictured in all of the textbooks for the next 100 years. You mean like the Piltdown hoax, which for 50 years was in all the textbooks? And wait a minute, I thought evolutionists said that Darwin never said those things about missing links. Hmm. But published just a few days ago in the online journal Public Library of Science One is an article that countered the bold claims made by Attenborough and others in the news. The British newspaper Guardian also reports that scientific reviewers of the research asked that others tone down the claims that the fossil was on the human evolutionary line. The Times of London reports that some scientists have joined in criticism of the media coverage, arguing it is wrong for a discovery to receive such heavy publicity before other researchers can evaluate it. Jonathan Wells, author and biologist at the Seattle-based Discovery Institute Center for Science and Culture says, I have in front of me the technical paper published about the specimen, a fossil primate that looks a lot like a lemur. Some of the people who analyze this also claim that Ida is not in the subgroup that includes lemurs, but is in the subgroup from which humans theoretically evolved. There are many primatologists who already disagree with that interpretation and see this as a lemur. Wells continued, In every case, what you've got is a fossil, a dead animal. The theory of evolution says that we have to have come from ancestors, so evolutionists go out looking and then they find this particular animal that fits the theory better than other candidates. But there's absolutely no way to know, and many evolutionists acknowledge this, whether in fact any other animals evolve from this one or not. 
much less humans. So the line of ancestry and descent is completely speculative, Well says. According to an ABC News report, examination of the fossil went on for two years in secret before news of the upcoming announcement and media blitz leaked just last week. This is very amazing. For Attenborough to say that we have the missing link, it's no longer missing, it only admits that the evolutionists haven't had missing links before this time, exactly what creationists and many reputable scientists have been claiming for years and exactly what most evolutionists have vehemently denied. Also, if evolution is so decided, if it's such a fact, why would evolutionists get all excited about one fossil that they find now when they claim they've had proof of evolution for years. And consider this. When you listen to avid evolutionists, they claim their theory is as well established as gravity. If that were really the case, though, the world wouldn't be getting these startling announcements that they have finally found the proof that they need. There simply wouldn't be any controversy. This is yet another demonstration that the theory of evolution is not as well established as any evolutionist claims. This is not the missing link. This is missing science. And furthermore, if, as Attenborough says, this is truly the final vindication for evolution, then evolution truly is a theory in tremendous scientific dilemma. It seems the poor evolutionists are going to be embarrassed by one of their own yet again. Some of the most significant fossil finds have come from this lake, but nothing compares with Eda. The link with our past, perhaps the beginning of the story of our development. She could rewrite science. She could confirm Darwinian theory and debunk creationism. She could also question religion itself. All in all, she's quite a find. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Germany.